Hello everyone, Maxon here. Welcome to the 56th video of my EU4 Sweden Let's Play. Uh, so during the last video, I increased my Baltic holdings uh, in this region here uh, by taking provinces of uh, Lithuania and Poland. Poland's been completely wrecked now, but Lithuania is in a decent strength still. I basically made a decision that it's more in my interest to keep Lithuania strong. So I've actually independ uh, guaranteed their independence. Uh, this is to prevent Russia from taking all their territory, I think, in the future. I actually did a test on this as well in between videos because I wasn't quite sure how it worked. And uh, what I did was uh, I chose Algiers as the nation I was playing and guaranteed pretty much everyone in Europe. And basically what happens with this is you're called into a war. It's not automatic joining the war. So it is. it was the right decision, I think, for me to guarantee Lithuania. Basically, if Russia does attack them, I've got a choice whether or not I want to honour this uh, alliance effectively. Uh, Russia is in a regency at the moment, though, so they're not going to be doing that for a while at least. And there's actually a few opportunities now I think I have for potential wars. My manpower has suffered a lot, but I think I'm actually going to get myself into another war now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a claim on this uh, province, Friesland. Uh, so they will actually take, I think they're already vassalized to someone already, so I can't do that actually. Uh, but I'm going to fabricate a claim on Friesland. Uh, and I could arguably declare war on England now, but I'm not going to. The uh, reason, main reason being is that I've got no manpower and they've got 100k troops. I think Castile would join in though. So this is definitely coming up later on. Uh, but the war I'm going to start now is actually against Burgundy. Burgundy are uh, allied to Mainz, uh, HRE member. So I wouldn't mind. They actually have the uh, Friesland as their vassal. So I think I might be able to take these two territories in this war and uh, gain some more territory over here. Uh, as long as Mainz honours Burgundy's alliance, which I hope they do. Burgundy and Mainz have lost a lot of troops recently because they're at war, in various wars, uh, especially Burgundy. I think Burgundy has about 15,000 troops and about 20,000 manpower, and Mainz has 13,000 troops and no manpower. Right, so uh, let's declare war on Burgundy anyway. Right, so declare war. I have a trade Casus Belli because they embargo me. It's definitely not the best of um, Casus Belli, so taking territory in this war is going to cost me more aggressive expansion than normal, but I'm willing to do it. Uh, do I need an ally? I don't think I want Pomer. Pomerania would be okay actually in this war. Um, yeah, I think I will call in allies. Castile's. Uh, or it war with Burgundy but not Mainz and Pomerania won't take territory off these because they're not uh, bordering it so I'll declare war okay uh, my relation oh I need to stick my maintenance back on as well uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to raise war taxes I might uh, still lower military power uh, that's my relationship slots. I still need to get rid of Scotland. I've been, uh, it's taken far too long. So England may be the next war, hopefully. Uh, also, uh, in between videos, I actually queued up a couple of um, ships on this side. Well, on the Pacific side. Uh, basically, I'm hoping to explore over here. I should have done this uh, much earlier on, actually. This is going to form a colonial nation very soon, probably. Right, so I think we're all right. I need to get some troops over. So where's my main fleet? It's here. Uh, so I've got one leader left. I'll attach there. Actually, I'm gonna wait until morale comes up a tiny bit. Uh, what's the supply like over here? 59, 56. Right, so with that there. Ah, uh, these are coring up still. Uh, yeah, wait until the maintenance goes up. You get attrition now when you're on ships, so I need to be a bit careful. Right, I'll pause. I'm allowed to hungry now, but I'm going to turn down that marriage offer. 
might change my mind a bit later on but I think yeah mains did join in so uh, mains is an ally so I can do a separate piece with them which is crucial so I should be able to take a couple of territories in this war uh, the military is rubbish compared to my alliance right so it's just a case of me getting troops over there now Poland just made peace with uh, Austria they've released Moldova and that's about it uh, so who else? Right, Austria's still at war with Burgundy, good. Poland's at war with, um... Wurzburg and Salzburg, and that's about it. So yeah, Poland's lost a heck of a lot of territory, haven't they? Uh, right. Put the timer up. Uh, native assimilation. A lot of my colonies are almost finished now, so I should be colonising a lot in this video as well. Right, wait another month. Uh, reached. Uh, that's my colonial army that can stay over there. Uh, Siege on Oldenburg. Diplomat arrived from Burgundy. Where am I going to stick that to? I'll stick this over in Russia for a bit. Right. I need to start improving relations with uh, Lithuania to try and get them in a proper alliance, I think, as well. Right, so they've split up their troops here. Uh, okay. Let's freeze an army there as well. So I need a bit... I'm probably going to get frost in penalties. Oh, that's not good. Right, my kin has finally died. I'm not sure how many years he was in charge, but he was, seemed to be in a charge for a long time. Uh, so my new heir to the throne is actually really good and this guy he's average but uh, not bad at all really uh, and I lost his ability uh, should I try and kill off my monarch then this guy's only four years old so I think I'll wait a while before um, making my king a general otherwise we'd have a regency potentially right. Diplomat is back from Brandenburg. Uh, let's. There's not many ways I can currently improve things there at the moment. Uh, let's check Brandenburg out again. Still not in a position where I can vassalize them. Can improve relations with uh, steel. Okay. Let's uh, attach over here. What fleet do they have? No fleet. It's been destroyed, probably. Uh, right, let's go over here. I'll probably land my troops on Friesland. Um, if they joined up, they might be a bit of a threat to me there, potentially. Especially if I've got low morale. What's... Um, that's back. Right, should I stick... I think I will stick Melchie... Or war tax is on now because my I've got a new kin and he's got well my old kin had zero uh, military zero mel monarch points in uh, military uh, so what am I doing taxes them and my fleet if there supplies 44 so I can get another army over here in a second. All my heavy ships look like they've just uh, completed. So, built a ton extra in the last video. Right. Well, that reminds me actually, I probably should be improving this again relatively soon. I've got a modifier. How long does that last for? 189. Right, I've got ages for that. Okay. They all there yet? Oh, looks like right. Group those up. What's that two? Oh, they hadn't all completed the building actually. Uh, what's that? Is 
that all of them? I think so. I spread discoveries. What is that? Uh, it looks like steel started colonizing down here as well. Uh, Ghost of Natal. Probably need to start exploring over this way if I'm going to be colonizing the Philippines at some point. Which is definitely a plan of mine. Uh, right, they're still going down there. Right, they've arrived in Friesland. Let's get my fleet back to get another army. I'll go to there. What's attached there? Pomeranian forces for some reason. Let me take that off. That's 11. Two more to come in. Which mammal? Right, they have attacked. My morale isn't full. Uh, so that was a risky plan, wasn't it? The morale's a lot better than mine. Right, I need to get my fleet back. Uh, where is my fleet to? I'm gonna need some way for them to retreat to. So, that there. Probably should have. Uh, brought my armies over to here before landing them. Uh, right. Put time down for a second. Not even sure if I can retreat to anywhere. Um, heavy ships let's bring those down right, question is if I am gonna retreat where should I retreat to I think the only not sure if I can retreat through the hands of lands and it's pointless in retreating to there so I'd have to really retreat here since they have a fleet there's no I should be able to do that so what date is it 24th December Lithuania just entered military lines to Ukraine. David Kurlands. Uh, right, so these. I don't know if I'm winning that or not, but to be honest, I can definitely. Uh, if I have more troops, I'd be causing a lot more damage, so I might as well retreat. So I'm going to retreat to here. Lost a bit of. Um, War score and war exhaustion, which isn't good, but uh, it could be worse problems than that. Uh, right. So I'll dock those up in Slesvig and go and get the other troops in a second. Okay. What's this? Portuguese Brazil wants military access. No. Are there any missions at the moment? I could. Where's Magdalena? Oh, that's England's territory in the Columbia region, I believe. But religious unity I could achieve relatively soon, so I might pick that. What do I get for it? Um, oh, that's really good, actually. I'll pick that now, then, actually. Um, I'm going to be taking these territories potentially uh, which are Catholic so this may take me longer than I thought to do so maybe I should have held off from doing that. Uh, where are my heavy ships gone? Oh, they haven't arrived yet. Okay. Uh, move those to there. Uh, 13 can stay there. Okay. Group her up. And let's go back to Mammal. Some manpower like. Uh, Diplomat arrived back from Castile. I've got two on hand. Uh, let's improve relations with Lith Lithuania then. And with um, Pomerania. Okay. Timer up. Agent wants to skip in Friesland. 
I could get a new admin idea, but I'm going to hold off on that, I think. Actually, could do with a second missionary in a minute and anyway, so I might do it then. Uh, these can attach there. These up to here. Simulation there. Poland enters the military alliance with Austria. They were allied before and then they ended up at war somehow. England's back in an alliance with Aragon. That's not good. Uh, these can... What's the supply here? Doesn't tell me for some reason. 44. Right, so I'll dock up there. Okay, I think I'll get another 20,000. Let's uh, make sure over here. Okay, why am I losing money? Don't know. Fortress Center Siege. How close are they now? I've actually nearly taken that, but it's not a big problem really. Okay, right, so there's more wars going on here. Did the Hansa just declare war on Magdeburg? I'm sure I've warned them before. I, if they're at war, then I need to be declaring war on them. So... Let's load the timer a second. Let's check this out. So... Right, wars. What was it? Hansa. Hansa has a conquest of Hanover. Yeah, it does look like they've declared war on Magdeburg. So I should be able... I think I might be called into a war here automatically. If my warning still lasting with them. Even if it's not, then... I'm going to get that back for a second. I think I can declare war on them because... Actually, they're not at war with Austria, are they? Right, I'll, uh, this is going to be interesting. Hopefully my warning calls me in. Doesn't look like it has. Um, yeah, they're not at war with Austria. That's a pain. Right. So, yeah. Doesn't look like I can get into a war against Hansa then easily. So, yeah, let's get my troops from over here. But I have to see if my warning's still lasting or not. I've lost Oldenburg, it's not a big problem. Yeah, the warning has gone. I didn't it didn't tell me that the warning had run out. I think it lasted twenty years maybe. So that's an opportunity well, maybe they wouldn't have declared war on them had the warning been in place, but that's definitely an opportunity lost. Uh, so I'm going to send a warning again there. Right, and my fleet's still coming over. Brandenburg joined in that war as well. Who's Austria at war with? Just Burgundy now. Right, so let's keep an eye on Austria's situation. Ah, uh, right, so attach there. Thing is, I can basically declare war on any HRE nation that Austria at war with, and they won't join in the war then, as uh, defending the empire for being the emperor. Uh, I think that's how it works anyway. Right, Mainz's his forces have grown stronger. Uh, Galray. Honored the Reliance. Let's say no to that. Diplomat arrived back from Hansa. I'm going to keep him on hand for a bit. Stick a timer up. Netherlands honored that alliance. Right. Harmonia just got an army over here. Great, helping me out. Uh, right, so I might as well that army there. Uh, Russia, Arms and Alliance. 
Right, so I've got a new colony finished. That's become a city. I think that will go over to uh, Swedish Mexico. Right, so I'm going to wait a day. Should get my settler back. Oops. Yep, right, so where my colonizer are next? I need to stop France from coming up here. So, next colony I'm going to go for is. Can I colonize there? No, I can't. Can do there. I think I think I'm gonna do this one. Right. Actually I should do that one, shouldn't I? Yeah, I'll do this one. And colonize that one. Right, so I need to get some troops over there, probably. Uh so this I've got two thousand units there. I take that off and uh move them over. Okay. Oh, there's rebellion going on here. Let's go and sort that out. Oops. I'm not sure if uh, if he's been called up yet. No. Swedish uh, Mexico has done a much better job of uh, calling up places than uh, New Sweden has. I'm not sure why. They both have pretty much the same leader. So. Keep the timer up. Right, Siege Jump Friesland. I'll get my Conquistador over next. Okay, what's that? Right, I'm almost definitely honouring that. I don't want to lose my alliance with Aus of, uh, Russia. Is that. Oh, they're at war with the Ottomans. That could be problematic. I actually rival the Ottomans to increase our relations. Uh, my war exhaustion isn't going to be going down anytime soon then. Um, so I've got until the 21st. I'll let the clock run a bit just to uh, see who joins that. Okay, so... Engaged enemy in Mexico. They've reached there. Uh, that had supply 44, so I'm going to move these to there. Now I want to be sieging up this province, so I need to get them to move troops, really. Right, I better do this before I forget. Uh, so Russia... Okay, let's do this. Ottomans are probably in might be in charge, I'm not sure. I think it's Kazan who's in charge, actually. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to accept this. Okay. So that should improve relations with uh, Russia, anyway. Uh, I'm going to... Take it off for now. I might put it back on later. Right, so back down here. Put the timer up. Uh, looks like a ship just completed over there. That's good. Uh, how long have I got before this turns into a colonial nation? Probably not long. Right, I'm going to make another caravel over here. So that's a solid amount. Three ships will be a solid amount for exploring, I think. A bit later on. Right. Uh, new governor in Swedish Louisiana. So, what governor do they have? He's an admin guy. I gain 5% liberty desire if I were to keep him, or I can lose some liberty desire. Um, I think I'm taxing him quite a bit already. Right. I'm going to change him over to um, what should I change him over to? Diplo. Okay, so I think I might raise tariffs there as well. Um, 
35. There should be 34 now. Right, I'll figure. I'll come back to this in the, at the end of the month to see if it's changed. I might raise tariffs. Uh, so it's not the biggest of my colonial nations, though. Right, so we've won that battle in Swedish Mexico, and it looks like they've been wiped out. Okay, have they landed yet? Exploits. Okay. Average Friesland. What army is that? Gallery. I'm going to move that leader over to there. How many troops do they have left next to nothing? Uh, the thing is, if I take this territory, I can use this to get claims on all of the provinces within this sea zone. So I probably won't take territory of Burgundy in this war, but uh, controlling the Antwerp node is going to be extremely profitable, potentially, if I can get territory here. There's an amazing tax base in this area as well. Um, right, so this army, I'm going to use the siege at Oldenburg, I think. I'll keep them stacked up for the time being, maybe, or I might bring 20, a regiment of 20 down here, actually. Looks like Austria's sieging most of those up there. Uh, so what's happened there? Nothing much, I think. Let's charge that. Good. I've reached Hello Glend. Go to there. Religious turmoil. Oh, this is another Austria event. Right, I'll take uh, that one again. Which there. Right, I might. What's relations with Austria? Um, right, I'm actually going to remove another province from the Empire. Relations are uh, basically as low as they can be, so I might as well. So, which province do I want to do? I'm going to do um, this province here, Hamburg. Oh, can't I do that? Oh, we're at war, so I can't do that. Okay, I'll have to wait. Uh, Oldenburg's under siege now. Timer back up. Wait until one of these sieges is finished and then... Uh, move my units out. Right, I think I'll split up some heavy ships here. Uh, how many do I want? Ten. And those can blockade Friesland port. Right. Gauge natives. One there. Broke Reliance. Should I be splitting up really here? Um, I think I will actually. So, split these in half. Half again. Half again. Uh, they can move to there. They can move to there. 10,000 to there as well. Right, so. Netherlands wants, Netherlands wants access. Uh, which monster? Diplomat points are going up a lot. I need to spend them in a minute. Uh, which Westphalen, Magdeburg, accept a peace with Thuringia. Does that mean? Right, they've grown a bit. They were a one province minor, I th think, before that war. And they've converted to Catholic. That's not good. Um, probably not good. Don't have a border with them yet, though. Uh, what revolt risks are going on here? Right. Don't want that yet. You're gathering in Finland. Oh, I've forgotten to check 
this as well, didn't I? Right, that's gone down to 34%. Right, so I'm going to raise this. This should be 39 each now. Uh, 25 admin this cost me. Right. Uh, Vinland's. Looks like we've been attacked. Oh. Right, they've got an army from somewhere. Uh... I thought they didn't have any troops a minute ago. Must have built some more. But right, they can move down to here. I don't have a leader here either. Uh, they can also move down. Uh, so, Finland. I think this guy is admin. No, he's not. He's diplomatic. So I'll switch him back over. Uh, liberty desire no matter what I do. Apart from that guy. Uh, yeah, I want this guy, so I'm going to change him over. Let's see, yeah, Finland's really low. Right. Right, should I be reinforcing the posi this position? Probably not. The morale's a lot better. in here, not really. I think I'll group that guy up. No, I'll move that guy to there. I'm going to retreat here. Uh, I'm going to get my conquistador. So I'm going to leave a cannon. Not sure what the fort level is. I think I'll leave a cannon and infantry and calf there. These can move down to Munster. And I'll retreat these, should they still be alive, on the 22nd. Oops. Right, Friesland is now fabricated. Which monster? Um, might group up some more in a bit. Right. If uh, I move those back to... Here. Right. Uh, just gonna check the time a second. Okay, it's actually been over half an hour, so I'm gonna call this an end to the video. So in the next video, I'll basically uh, group up some armies over here and destroy this small army and uh, siege up the whole of Mainz. I think looks like all of Burgundy sieged up, so I don't have to do anything over there really, uh, at least for the time being. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.